But have you understand I'm a light-skinned woman? So I benefit from colorism. You're a dark-skinned woman, since you can never make it to the to the heights I make it from. Oh, can we clock that one or is it gonna is it gonna hurt y'all feelings because it's me saying it? Can we Let's address it. My name is Michaela Lewis. I'm the owner of a little black beauty, and my business addresses colorism and anything around the sort. Um, I've been minding my business. I've been seeing it, you know, a cane and them going back and forth. Um, I'm just now seeing the live where she said you black a b words. Can't even imagine. Supporters changed my life. Oh, I bet kids. That's why you won't never make it nowhere, sister. On top of that, I hate to break it to you. Let me not let me not be let me not be insecure to you, sister. Let me not try to break it down to you. But have you understand I'm a light-skinned woman? So I benefit from colorism. You're a dark-skinned woman, sister. You can never make it to the to the heights I make it from. Oh, can we clock that one or is it gonna is it gonna hurt y'all feelings because it's me saying it? Can we be real for once and let's clock everything? Because I'm a light-skinned woman and I say the same shit you say. You're not going to make it to the height time. Make it, bitch, because you can't fuck with me. You're a dark-skinned woman. I want you to understand that. Don't come in my comments saying anything to me, ho. Cause I was supporting you because you was a black bum bitch like me. You was a black bum like me. Just getting on TikTok just for the love of the game because I wanted to make a way for my kids. But now I see you just a black bum that hate on hoes see one thing about me when i was trying to make away from my kids and get off the hood i didn't get nobody live trying to down talk them trying to be funny see i was actually making videos trying to get out the hood and you see what i make hey y'all welcome back to all things jenny i'm jenny so this young lady over here is getting a lot of backlash for making a very insensitive comment about dark-skinned women but she's a light-skinned woman and she I normally do not make videos like this because I'm just not interested in the backlash that it may get from other influencers. But the video I just watched of E. Kane was about her talking about how because she's light skinned, that's how she's made it, and dark skinned girls wish they were her. That video, the same person that I've literally clicked not interested when it shows up on my For You page, but yeah, TikTok for some reason still wants to show me this crazy girl's video. But when you start talking ignorant about black girls, that's what I'm saying. To my dark skinned girls, to my brown girls, to my yellow, green, pink, blue, white girls. You are more than capable of being where you want to be and getting to the highest level that you can. It has nothing to do with the shade of your skin. You are beautiful. You're intelligent. You're a trendsetter. You are royalty. He Kane did not get famous because she wrote a book. Did not get famous because she won an Oscar. She got famous because she got on this internet and embarrassed the hell out of herself by acting like a complete fool. Don't compare your success to the amount of followers you have because these influencers are broke. As fast as you going up, you can go down faster. It looks like a duck, it's a duck. This girl got on the internet and recorded a video saying, I made it and I'm the level I'm at because I'm light skin. She told a dark skinned black girl, the reason why you're not where you're at is because of the color of your skin. And that's why you're mad. You're mad at me because you're dark skin and I'm light skin. What the fuck? And then it's a black girl saying it. Ain't you black? Colorism exists so much in the black community. This is a level of stupid. This is who y'all made famous. This is who y'all gave a platform to. This is the level of stupidity that you are seeing. This is why it's so important to not give people like this platform. Because this message could truly hurt someone. There's someone right now that believes that this is true. That breaks my heart. It is a thousand percent such a disgusting, embarrassing thing to get on this internet. Looking crazy as hell at that. To get on this internet and talk about your sister and say that she will never make it because of the color of her skin that she cannot control is crazy to me. There are so many people that do not have social media that are popping in real life. And they are dark skin and they are brown skin and they are yellow and they are green and they are blue. Your complexion does not mean you've made Also, your followers do not mean you made it. I want y'all to know that there are a lot of people on this app with millions of followers and they are broke. They are broke. They don't have door handles to their door. They don't have work and air condition. They live in a roast, roach infested apartments that they cannot afford. They live on Section A. You see them at your local Walmart. You see them at your local grocery stores. They, a lot of them are not winning. You can make money on this app, but I want you to know that if you do not have a social media, it does not mean that you are broke.
okay? I know doctors. I know attorneys. I know people who have bought beach houses. I know people with multiple properties. I know people, and they don't have social media. I know people that are millionaires. I know my husband don't have no social media. My husband don't play with kids. He don't do that kind of stuff. And he's damn near finna be a millionaire. So, and and he, you wouldn't even tell if you saw him in person. People still want to know what this man do. It's none of y'all business. My point is that I know people that are artists. I know people that have been making millions a week. I know editors. I know pe doctors. I know attorneys that are doing way better than E-Kane. But all E-Kane has is followers. This girl got famous for getting on this internet and embarrassing herself. I want y'all to, to never listen to people like that. Don't take advice. Don't spend the hours of your precious day wasted on ignorant people like that. You do not think, don't believe for a second the stuff that comes out of some of these people's mouth. I don't want the girls on this app to think because you're dark skin that you can't make it because baby girl, I want you to know you are beautiful, that you are more than, more than equipped to make it. You are top tier and that's every race, but you are top tier, baby girl. Two seconds later. Here comes the apology with the tears. Here it is. We've been waiting on it. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't begin to understand where I come from when it comes to social media. <laughs> Nobody would begin to understand, bro. Social media changed my life, bro. <laughs> my supporters changed my life. I can't even imagine. Supporters changed my life. Oh, I got kids, bro. I changed my kids' life, bro. I took a break from social media eight days. I cried all the eight days, bro. <laughs> I'm still gonna cry. It don't make no difference. I gotta sit in my emotions healing. It's not no linear journey. Maybe I'm having ups, I'm having downs. But I appreciate all y'all social media. Like, seriously, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm so happy my kids don't gotta go through what I went through, bro. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> If y'all want to eat me up, y'all don't want to fuck with me after this, please understand, I'm going to be okay still. Amen? I'm going to be okay. I appreciate y'all for coming this far. But understand me when I say, sometimes I'm ignorant when people make jokes about me getting punched. Sorry. That's a horrible apology, I know. I know, sisters. I know. understand that two right don't make a wrong i've been i don't say all right honey all right i feel better now the one person who i wanted to accept my apology is all right mama how can we go outside go outside all right Hello, let mom put this wig cap on, okay? Let mom do her hair. Then we're gonna go outside, okay? Hi. All right, y'all, should I get off live now? I've been on live for three hours, 30 days and 30 nights. Apologizing, sisters. Oh, it's a different kind of feeling when you know you're in the wrong, sisters. It is. It's a different kind of feeling. It's a different kind, sisters. It is. It is, honey. All right, what more y'all want me to say? What is that? Let's get it down to the normal 2,000 people, honey. Mm. Y'all send emojis, mm. but won't they still spam the tomatoes? You know what? Let them get it out. Let them get it out. They need to get their tomato emojis out, honey. It's going to help them feel better. That's what they got to do. You understand me? That's what they got to do at the end of the day. Oh, shit. I got to clean off my... Forehead, get it out, sisters. I'm never gonna stop y'all from grieving. 
I'm never going to stop that. So I may you have done me? a thing, and now I don't know what how to do it. Lumi, where's your life at? <laughs> it's the Listen, only to my dark skin supporters, I apologize humbly in the humblest of forms. I responded to a comment making fun of my abuse and I went to love. And in the process of trying to offend her, how she hurt my heart, I hurt all my dark skin girlies. I want y'all to understand, if you know me, you know I ride for us. Dark skin, light skin, brown, I don't care what color you is, honey. I done went too low and it was ignorant of me. And I shouldn't have dated. If you don't feel right with supporting me no more, block me, unfollow me, do what you gotta do, sister. But I apologize. Seriously. I need to learn not to let comments make me that mad. I forgot I have a platform. Amen. But I am a human. And when people say fucked up shit and joke about my abuse, I try and say fucked up shit as well. No justifying, just letting you know my brain. Amen. I apologize, sisters. Fair sister. On top of that, I hate to break it to you. Let me not let me not be let me not be insecure to you, sister. Let me not try to break it down to you. But have you understand I'm a light skinned woman? So I benefit from colorism. You're a dark skinned woman, sister. You can never make it to the to I think a lot of people social media never ceases to amaze me as how and how far people will go just for some attention, right? Even though yes, she is an established influencer and she's getting all of the brand deals and da da da. She still felt like she had to do extra to get some attention. And her ways of getting attention is basically coming and basically attacking black women. And my thing was when I watched the video, I wasn't necessarily off offended by the video, but it was her, her apology that really had me because you could clearly see every other word was amen jesus this praise the lord that and that's the thing i hate about that if you're going to say something i need you to stand on your shit and continue with it don't come and try to apologize with your crocodile tears and you know with snots in your face trying to apologize first of all who will take this lady's comment seriously this lady look like she has alopecia and there's nothing going on there's nothing wrong. i'm not coming for people who has alopecia but i cannot take an assault from someone who basically look like that and i'm not coming for her looks but this lady literally had like ball patches everywhere it looked like she, she's struggling with her hair from wearing all those wigs all the time and now you're coming for a dark skin woman saying that you're only at the position that you're in because you're you're a lighter skin woman which congratulations to you but as a dark skinned black woman and i've been dark skin my entire life i don't feel like there's anything that I cannot do because of my skin color. I don't feel like there's anything that keep me from doing it. From My skin color does not keep me from doing anything that I want to do. Anything that I put my mind into. And this lady did not get famous on social media for writing a novella or a, like a perfect book, an Amazon bestseller. You got famous on social media because people could relate to you. You did not get famous on social media for your skin tone. I don't believe that. But she gave me the vibe that she's one of those black women who basically lead where her skin tone and everything is. If she didn't have this light skin, I don't know what she would have done. Because everything is light skin Keisha this. You know, that's not her name. But light skin that, red bone this, red bone that. Do you have a personality? Because why is your skin tone the only thing that matters? Why is your skin tone the only thing that you you move forth with? I know so many dark, dark skinned black women who are just as beautiful, if not more beautiful, than a lighter skinned person or a white person. And I also know a lot of light skinned people who are very, very beautiful. Just like I know white people who are very beautiful and I know some people who are very beautiful. And I know a lot of them who are very smart and it has nothing to do with their skin and the things that they, you know, the doors that they are able to enter, it has nothing to do with their skin. Granted that it does handle you a little bit if you are a darker skinned person in America. That's not everywhere. Um, in other countries too, but a lot of places you're able to get through the door because of your knowledge, your education, you know, the people that you know. It's not necessarily about your skin tone, although it does play a big role in it too. And now we're not going to pretend as if that's not, you know, that's not true. That yes, yeah, she might have gotten through certain doors because of her skin tone, but I don't believe this young girl who she was coming for, the dark skinned black woman she was coming for, is in a lower position because of her dark skin. Maybe she, she doesn't have the opportunity that you do.
maybe she, you know, she hasn't tried to get to the position that you are in. But I don't think it makes a difference between your skin tone and why you are in the position that you are in. And even if it did, even if it was, black women are your most, the, your biggest supporters. Black women are your biggest supporters. For you to say that, you only say that because she was coming for, for your, uh, you know, your situation that you were dealing with. Because I don't want to get my video demonetized, so I don't want to say the word, you know. But if she was coming for that, why would why was this the first thing that you said to her? Why were you attacking her skin tone? Which let me know that you are you felt that in your heart and you probably have been battling with this maybe you you've gone through life you know b battling with the fact that you're lighter skin and you know dealing with oh dark skin girls hate me because i'm lighter and that usually it's not it's not even true it's usually your personality it's not because of your skin tone dark skin girls hate you because don't nobody and nobody's sitting around just hating people for their skin tone it's only white people the racist ones who does that you know what i mean it's spanish some of the spanish ones but Dark skinned women? I don't think so because I've, I've, as a dark skinned woman, I do have a lot of dark skinned friends and a lot of light skinned friends, a lot of white friends, Spanish friends, and all that, right? But I don't think I've ever really sat down with a dark skinned person and just the topic of the conversation is, oh, well, you know, I don't like this girl because she's lighter. I don't like this person because they're lighter. Or, you know, I get treated a certain way because I'm darker. Unless it's like, a main thing that it happens every single day. I don't think it's like a topic that we focus on all the time. I think we're more focused on living our life versus, you know, worrying about somebody else's skin. I don't know. But you know what though? There's a lot of black women who does that. It's not she's she's not the first one. She's just the first one who spoke about it and get caught. But I know a lot of black women who does that. I actually knew a lady who had two two daughters. One was lighter because she took a color after her her father and the mother was darker and she had a darker daughter and because she felt like the the door that i don't know why but she had this this jealousy when it came to like her her darker skinned daughter i guess okay so you know how like when a man will a, a lighter skinned black man will get with like a darker skinned one because usually if they do that it's because they like that skin tone and you know they don't have nothing against it they're not colorist and da 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 so I'm not sure why that lady felt like her husband was giving more attention to her dark skinned daughter. Let me know if y'all want me to do a story time about this. But she was she felt like her husband was giving more attention to her dark skinned daughter. She went as far as thinking that her daughter was with her husband. I was like, and she, she used to go to my church. She used to go to my church. This is like a normal thing. She's from the islands, not from Haiti, but she's from a different island. And we knew her very well, but I knew that was like the talk of the town that she actually felt jealous of her, her young daughter. And her daughter was like eight, nine. She was young, you know? So it's really weird to hear this. And for this young lady to try to make a really horrible apology, you know, about what she said to the black women, only because a lot of dark skinned black women, not just dark skinned, but light skinned black women were coming for her. And now she's apologizing. And you could tell it was a fake apology because she was like cr overly crying, snots in her face, in her nose, and doing just doing the most. And you could tell she rehearsed this entire thing. The entire apology was rehearsed. And I don't believe it for one second. But you know what, honey? If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I'm not going to judge you for how you feel. Maybe you went through it in life. Maybe you were, maybe your mom is a darker skinned woman who basically treated you bad. Cause I know dark skinned moms who treat their children who are lighter skinned bad or better than the darker skinned child. I'm not sure. There's, there's a whole dynamic of like that going on in the black community, but it needs to stop because the whole color thing has us all in a chokehold. We are already being hated by other races. Why do we have to do the same to our own race? Why do we have to do the same to our own girls and boys? Why are we doing that? Because a lot of time children learn about colorism in the home first. In the home first, they learn about it. Not from like outside. They learn it from the home because the parents usually treat the lighter skin child better than the darker skin. So then they learn it that way. They learn it that way. And if you guys want me to make a video about that, I will because I have a lot of, a lot of things to say about that because I've seen it. 
I haven't experienced it because my family basically treat us all the same. I do have sisters who are lighter, but we never pick and choose who gets better treatment. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I don't believe her apology for one minute. I'm not, I'm not offended by it, but I, it looks like a lot of people are offended by it. But her apology was so fake. It was so fake. Girl, anyways, bye. Go ahead and click anywhere on the screen for the next video.